commodity traders. The U.S. stock market edged higher last week, and the ICE U.S. dollar index rose. U.S. stocks closed higher on Monday in an abbreviated session ahead of the Fourth of July holiday. The dollar rebounded after previous week's losses. European stock indices ended lower on Tuesday as North Korea's missile launch undermined market sentiment. The dollar was little changed. U.S. markets ended higher on Wednesday as Federal Reserve policy meeting minutes indicated the central bank may start reducing its balance sheet soon and technology stocks rallied. Minutes showed several members of the policy committee were in favor of starting a reduction of the central bank's crisis-era balance sheet. However, they were divided on inflation prospects and further pace of rate hikes after recent weak inflation data despite consistently low unemployment. The U.S. stock market slumped on Thursday as investors shifted out of tech stocks. Minutes from the European Central Bank indicated while panel members left the policy unchanged, they considered ending central banks easing bias at June meeting. The IC dollar index fell 0.5%. The U.S. stock market closed higher on Friday as 222,000 new jobs were created in the U.S. in June and hiring was stronger in May than previously reported. The S&P 500 ended the week 0.06% higher and the U.S. dollar index rose 0.36% for the week. The most anticipated events this week are Bank of Canada rate decision on Wednesday Fed Chair Janet Yellen's semi-annual monetary policy report before the Senate Banking Committee on Thursday and U.S. inflation report on Friday. It is widely expected the Central Bank of Canada will hike rates to 0.75% from 0.5% and a recovery in U.S. inflation will boost rate hike likelihood at Fed's next meeting in September. Happy trading and see you next week.